Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to carve a leg of lamb. This happens to be a roasted leg of lamb done completely in the oven. Uh, regardless of your cooking method for a leg of lamb, you may see some that tell you to take the leg of lamb and brown it in a saute pan and then roast it in the oven. Others uh, on a grilling technique would be to grill it uh, over some coals and then move it uh, over an indirect heat as uh, we call it in, uh, in barbecue parlance and then completely cook it uh, on top of the grill. Uh, any of those cooking techniques or any others, uh, the same kind of carving technique will apply. Really important after the leg of lamb comes out of uh, the oven or the grill or however you're cooking it, you let it rest for at least 30 minutes and let it cool off a little bit. If you start to carve it right away, the meat is still so hot and there's so much liquid inside with the meat that is well over the boiling point that when you start to cut it, the juices are just gonna flow out all over the place and your meat's gonna be dry. So by letting it cool off and letting it rest, the juices are gonna redistribute throughout the meat and when you start to carve it, you're not gonna get nearly as much uh, seepage or bleeding. Okay. So this has rested for about half an hour. Great thing about working with a leg of lamb is that typically the shank or the end piece of the leg is kept bare. This is often called Frenched as well. And uh, when it's cool uh, after about 30 minutes, this makes a really wonderful handle to use. I like to start off at the thicker hip part of the leg. There is gonna be a layer of skin and uh, a little bit of fat underneath it, but the majority of the meat is on the top here. And then we can turn the bone over and we can cut on to the other side. I like to use a nice long slicing knife. You could even use an electric knife if you have one of those. Um, you may find even a chef's knife will, will do too but I find that a, a more narrow blade is gonna be a little bit easier to work with because if you have a big wide blade like on a chef's knife, you're gonna have a lot of surface area on the knife that's gonna cause the meat to stick to it. Okay. So I'm gonna hold the uh, leg up by about a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna start to cut into the skin and into the meat. I'm gonna cut down until I feel the leg bone about right there. Okay. Maybe even rotate it a little bit and cut in over here. And I'm going to move over about half an inch. Make another cut until I feel the knife hit the bone. And we're going to move our way up the shank. Okay. Don't worry about that crust that's coming off. We're just going to put it back on after we serve it. After we make, you can actually make as many slices as you want to serve, and then you can keep the rest of it onto uh, the leg itself. After I have, let's see, I have uh, four slices here. I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm actually gonna start to tilt it and rotate it to get that knife running parallel to the uh, leg bone. So if I laid the leg of lamb down here, I'm actually gonna have the knife parallel to my cutting board, and I can feel the knife blade running right on top of that bone. And I'm gonna carefully saw the knife towards the end of the leg over here. And as the pieces come on out, you can go ahead and arrange them onto the platter. This one I'm gonna come back and cut towards me. I have one more piece right here. Cut this way. There we go. And if you have guests that are looking for meat that's a little bit more well done than the ends, this end right here, and also the end up towards the shank is gonna be um, more done. And finish cutting up all the way up the leg. I'm gonna rotate the bone around a little bit more too so I can get a bigger slice. And this time I'm gonna come in this way Go. A little bit of a bone right there. And then right up at the very shank, I'm gonna start up at the top and cut along the bone. I have to lift the knife up right here. There's a little bit of a joint. Cut down here, there we go.
And we can also, as I mentioned before, we can turn uh, the meat around. I want to get this little bit right off of the end here. Stand the bone up now. There we go. Cut that guy down just like that. Set that one right there. And we have a nice knob of meat right here that we could easily get to by standing the leg up. Cut right along here. Swing around, do the same thing on the other side. You can see right here, this is actually where the knee joint is. The bone is gonna to start to basically flex. And if you're more comfortable holding it closer to that joint, go right ahead and in here. And you can see I have some cuts that were from my previous initial cuts. There we go. We can gather up our little bit of herb crust, sprinkle that around. And you can see the underside definitely on the well done for those that like it like that. There we are. Keep the bone inside the kitchen. You could easily turn it around and put it into a pot and simmer it and make some soup out of it. There definitely is a little bit more meat that you can go ahead and you can carve off a little bit later on, and that is how to carve a leg of lamb. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get some additional information. If there's a recipe that you would like to see me make, feel free to send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.